guys, how are you doing? So I don't see anybody live now. But you guys can watch the replay. Maybe you can you can just put in the comments if you're um, you're watching the replay. Uh, so my name is Kat. Um, yeah, that's what my clients and my friends call me, anyways. And uh, so yeah, I wanted to come on quick today. I had slight, so I had my coaching call uh, with my clients, and I had one-on-one -on -one coachings also. And the theme for today, and that's what we really uh, uh, we really drilled in really deep, was the new identity. And that is the biggest battle, you guys, that you're going to be fighting in your life. It's and especially if you have a big dream for yourself, you like you want to build the business, the side hustle, the, the whatever is the thing, or you know um, your health. The relationship whatever it is that you want in your life that you don't have now and why it, is it so hard and we kind of feel that we get we, we just fall into self-sabotage the thing is guys this is the battle so we have the old you and the new you that you want to become that lives in your desired reality and so the old you is the person that you're you're trained to be that person you're in a habit of being who you are, eating the foods that you're eating, feeling the feelings that you're feeling, um, the relationships that you have, all the habits. That's the old you. That's the you you've been all your life. And the results that you want, they belong to the new you. <laughs> and so we have to kind of train ourselves to become this new identity. And this is where we kind of like tug and pull between the two because the new identity, we're dreaming of this person, but this person doesn't exist yet. And we have to train kind of like our old self to become this new self. So it's kind of like a weird mind game. And just like think that you were, you were, you want to play the piano or you want to play a new sport. Or remember when you started to drive a car, you had to train yourself every day and practice and practice and practice until you have the habit of driving the car or in the habit of playing that instrument. It's the same thing with your new self, except it's going on in here. So sometimes there's a little inner civil war. So the thing is that every day start thinking, acting and feeling like the new person that lives in your desired reality. So you start by designing this person. So when I have my business with like my 50 clients or a hundred clients or whatever that is for you, I'm, that's, that's the example I often give because that, you know, that's my goal. But who am I when I have this goal? So I'm probably, compared to my old self, more disciplined. I don't procrastinate anymore. So I have this way of doing that gave me my goal. So we have to start training right away to be that person. But first, so you have to create a blueprint. So how does this person think? How does she act? What does she do? How does she spend her days? How does she, what clothes does she wear? And you design this person. So probably if you're starting out maybe broke, like I started, and you become a millionaire, you're probably not going to dress the same. So start, you know, seeing how do you want to dress and start slowly, start slowly. There's some like lots of clothes online that you can, you, you like light, lighten the box, not expensive, but it just brings you to start training yourself to start dressing differently. When you do that, you're going to feel different and you're going to do different things. So you design that identity and then what you do every day, you step into the feeling of your end result. So through meditation, visual meditation and you, okay, I, I'm at my end goal. How do I feel? How do I spend my days? Who are the people around me? And you step into that. You can kind of go swim in that pool every day. And the third thing, that third secret, always think, feel, and act like the person you're becoming. So I have triggers in the outside world to remind me. Because sometimes my old self will say, oh, I don't feel like it. I'm tired. I want to stop. But I do it. And I ask myself the question, what would the person I am becoming do right now? And then I do that. 
And that's why I created, you probably saw on the page, I created some mugs because I want those outside crit triggers. I, I should be, I, I got the message on my phone, I should be receiving them in, in a few days. But I want the outside trigger in front of me. So I have it written in my kitchen. In my kitchen, I have this black um, blackboard. And so I write my messages on there. And it's written there. What would the person I am becoming do right now? And you do that. Because for me, I made the decision that this is what I want. And I'm committed every day to moving towards it. And not letting my old self win anymore my old self won for over 50 years it's not winning anymore but it's a discipline you have to catch yourself and you have to do what you're the person you're becoming is going to do that is a super trigger for me it really really helps when i do that and so that's why i decided to create those mugs so you can go have a look but write it on your mirror hey stephanie how are you doing girl so you can write it on your mirror what is the person I am becoming or what would the person I am becoming do right now and do that though that part of you that's afraid or that part of you that procrastinates or that part of you that doubts is your old identity is the identity that gave you the results that you have now but you don't want them anymore you want something different you want to create something new and so every time you're going to step into that your old identity is going to freak and it's going to say we never did that before we're afraid but it's not scary it's just unknown and the way that the subconscious works is if you're trying to do something that that you have never done before your subconscious mind is going to check in the data it's going to check in your in your past experiences it's going to say we have never done that before it is not proven safe Let's do everything in our power to keep her away from doing that. And that's where we start being distracted. We start to feel tired. We start to procrastinate. And that's what happens. And that it, it's kind of psychological tension that pulls us away from our dream. But not, not to, because we're not allowed to have that dream. It's because the subconscious mind thinks that it is unsafe. And so that's why we have to train ourselves every day. This is who I'm becoming. So you design your new identity. I'm glad you love it, Stephanie. It's really, really powerful stuff. So you design your new identity. Who is the person you're becoming? How does she, how does she act? How does she spend her days? How does she dress? Who does she hang around with? And then you step into that feeling every day. And we have in our programs like cool, uh, mind reprogramming visual meditations that really bring you deep swimming in that pool and then how you spend your days you think feel and act like the person you're becoming your future self is counting on you today to take the steps every day for the future to unfold so your biggest cheerleader guys is your future self your future self is out there saying, come on, go, keep the decision, keep the commitment and do something every day and everything's going to unfold. And those are my three secrets, guys. I hope you like them and tell me it, how it works for you. So you design your new identity, you step into the feeling of this person that you're becoming and every day think, feel and act like the person that you're becoming just that let me see stephanie your future self is counting on you today to take the steps that's what it is your future self stephanie is your biggest cheerleader you are a guide your future self is a guide for who you are today and when you step into that your future self knows everything everything's done so go ahead your, your, your biggest fan is out there and you can do it. You can do it. Everything that's stopping us is just like past memories that are not even serving us anymore. So give it a try. Two, three things. Design your new identity. Step into the feeling of it. And think, feel, and act like the person you're becoming. And man, give me your results in, in the next weeks. Things are going to shift big time for you guys. Bye-bye. I'll see you guys soon.